Abigail, you look awful uh, well dressed to be out here in the trees. Interesting. Hi there. Nice to see you. Oh, I'd like to buy a hen or two. I could really use a rooster. I'm looking to buy a cow, perhaps more than one. Holy cow, she sells everything. Hey everybody, welcome back to Lumberjack's Dynasty. I've really been having a good time playing this game lately and enjoying the story, opening or unlocking the story. So we're going to get back into it today. If you watched my last episode, we finally got our platform truck. So we're going to get a couple things done today. We're going to take this, these uh, wood chip crates and sell them down at, the, down at the Lumber Projects Market right here. I'm going to put my little star mark on there. So we're going to load those up. We're going to take them out and sell them. Today they are bringing 260 euro per crate. Now these prices do change. I'm not sure how often they change. I don't know if it's weekly or monthly. I need to start following that a little closer. But I know they do change. It is a, a different market that that fluctuates. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to go down there. And then we're going to come back. And we're going to grab our trailer. Our tractor and trailer. If you watch my, Again, if you watched my last episode, uh, we... We cut down some trees, but we didn't have to put all those trees over in their uh, behind their house where they wanted them. So I think it's um, I think it's up right here, actually, this area right here. So we're gonna head back over there. There's no way for me to mark the map. I kind of wish there was a way to mark this map so I I can remember where these people are because uh, the fisherman guy. I think he also sells. I believe it was the fisherman guy. He also sells cows. So we are going to have to get into the husbandry area of this game selling or we're gonna buy some cows and we're gonna buy some chickens because we need eggs and milk now our apples we have an apple orchard over here I'm gonna run over there and show you guys real quick if you haven't seen it before we do have apple orchard orchard already on our farm so our apples are gonna come just by gathering these from our trees right here and I didn't know what I didn't know this quest was gonna happen so I've been eating these apples for my food because I'm like hey it's just an easy source of food uh, but this is where our our apples come in that we already have so I'm hoping we're gonna get be able to get a hundred apples just by picking these from the trees and again I'm not sure how often they respawn uh, seems like quite a bit actually so I'm, I'm hoping we're gonna be able to get all of our apples from here and we won't have to try to find somewhere to buy those but back to the the chickens and the roosters and the cows. Uh, I looked at a little research, still a research online, and it looks like that it's random the people that give those or the sell those those animals, the chickens, the cows, and the roosters. It seems to be random. So I'm going to have to travel around the map and find out who sells those, so we can buy them and get that started today. Uh, and I also, but I have first thing I have to do is make some money because we only have, we only have 909, I think that's 909 euros, I believe that's under a thousand, I'm not really sure how that euro process works. But now we have 34 apples, so that has cut us down, we only need 66. So we've got our trees here, and there's also, I believe we have some more apple trees over here, I might be wrong on that. Yeah. Maybe that's all the ever apple trees. Wait, nope, we have more here. Okay. I thought we had more somewhere. Alright, so I'm going to grab these real quick. And then I will we'll get back and grab our... Grab our trailer. And I'll show you what I mean by those logs. If you did not watch my last episode, I'll show you. They should be sitting there still. And I think we'll be able to take those. And we can use those and uh, sell them of course for our own benefit you can also use, right click and use your use your mechanics vision just have the op the apple stand out and I'm just right clicking to do that you can use that for a lot of different things in this game it's, it's really cool actually I think alright so that's all the apples uh, I think let's check oh there's a couple more I guess we could have beehives in here also is there active bees in here? Bees produce honey and are very beneficial for your nearby garden. They are also completely harmless. Social benefits 250. 
so I guess this just okay so we can add a beehive over here oh we can buy new ones okay but how do I access this place beehive 250 okay so how do I get to the existing one I have here I'm not sure how to access that all right we got a few more apples over here all right so we only need 30 more apples now that's pretty good all right let's go get these these crates loaded up on our truck and we'll go sell them and I have I'll show you first thing I have if you right click over here we've got three crates chipboard crates ready to be processed once I get this one out of the way so let's go on a forklift and take care of that first Now these pallets that are drying, these things, let's see where we're at, drying on these, will not tell me on the forklift, yeah, 68, 63, let's see what they say. 19 so these are almost dried so uh, I may hang on to them for a little while because I'm not sure if we get another quest what we have to build or we have to you know work for James so these are almost done also uh, if we need to work for James I don't want to buy any more of those we'll just use our own Alright, so we picked this pallet up, but then magically another one should do. Yep, another one appears that we had ready to go. So well, that's pretty cool. Let's see if we can place this on here. There we go, that helps us out a little bit. That's nice. Again, some of the movements on this isn't quite as realistic as, say, a farm simulator game, but it's also a whole lot faster and not quite as nitpicky on where you have to be, which I don't mind that at all. For example, there we just hit enter and it, it lifts it up for us. Not too bad. Takes a little bit of the manual labor out of the job. Alright, we should have two more left. And I showed you last episode, I've got some hay in my inventory that I used the new brush cutter on. And I opened up my map. I'll show you. I opened up my map a while ago, and there's actually a quest to get a brush cutter. So I don't know if it's a better brush cutter than we have, or it's probably the same one. But we'll. I may do that quest off camera. I'm not sure, since we already have that brush cutter. All right. This is probably. Yep. No more crates waiting. So all my logs I'm turning into wood chips. I did read that uh, this is the best way to make money. They bring the most consistently. Best prices consistently. Kind of got some goofy camera angles here. That's just kind of where my truck's parked. Like it's it's good to gonna let me place it there where I need to. All right, we got all those loaded up that we have, so we're gonna take those and sell them. We'll just park our forklift over here out of the way. There we go. 
Now these our vehicles can be washed. Uh, I'll show you that at some point. Uh, let me look at the map here, and I'll show you that quest. Yeah, right there. Brush trimmer, the quest enabled. So I'll do that at some point because uh, maybe I can. I don't know if I can sell it or if I don't need it. All right, so I'm gonna head down to the market, and I'll pick you up when I get back down there. All right, here we are coming up on the market. take a look we've got I don't know why euros dropped we got 659 euros now we had 900 so our skills I was just looking at our skills over here lumberjack we're level 2 builder level 2 uh, so looks like there's three different categories for these skills mechanic uh, buy fuel refurbish old vehicles and repaint them and upgrade vehicle parts by yourself. Trader, we haven't done a whole lot of trading. Uh, fisherman, we're level two, one with nature. Collect mushrooms and berries. Ability to collect common herbs and recognize and collect unique special herbs. That's the last level. Lucky man, we found a treasure chest in the last episode. And find treasure with, with rare items. Find treasure chest with unique items. And cook. We haven't done a whole lot of cooking. Great basic canned foods, more nutrition, more money. I guess we did a little bit of that early on make special foods from cook from unique cookbooks create food based on special local recipes okay all right well yeah again i'm not sure why we lost some money here but let's go sell this stuff and we'll make some money all right plank log market maybe there we go sell six pallets for a total of 1560 euro All right, so now we're up to 22.19 and our euros. All right, so that was simple enough. All right, I'm gonna head back to our farm and we're gonna switch to the tractor and trailer, and I'll pick you guys back up there. We're gonna stop off the market here. I want to see how much this guy will buy for some of our or pay for some of our food. Hello there. Welcome to my store. What are you selling? What are you selling? Ah, uh, bit of this, bit of that, you know. Some tools, some fishing equipment, some gadgets. Some food for fishermen, too. So, what do you have in your store? Alright, so this guy doesn't buy anything from us. We can only we can only buy from him, it looks like. I can sell. Okay. So this is some of this weird food that these people have given me. Magic beans, those sell for 16 euro a piece. Apples are 60. Oh, yeah, this apples are 60 cents. This is $16. Okay. Uh, let's see. Beer. That sells for 16. That's quite a bit. All right, I'm going to sell this because we don't really need to worry about water. It's going to give me 160 euro. Whoa. This sells. Twenty euro a piece. So that's that would bring me five hundred euro. That's pretty good for that. What about this one? Deer. Mushrooms. They're sixty cents. What about this crazy fox potion? That brings six hundred forty euro. Well, work smart, not hard. I'm not sure what to do with this. Not sure if that gives us more uh, energy or stamina. I tried one of these and it put a little icon down there. Some, some of you guys that are playing this, you might tell me what that what's the benefit of that fox potion. So this canned food, it brings more than regular food, I know. Yeah, I'll hang on to that. But this stuff, wow, 500 euro for this. 60 nutrition, that's pretty good. The strawberries are cheap. The jar of honey is pretty good. Now, did I just get that while ago from my bees? Or did I already have that? I don't remember. I don't remember if I looted that or... Yeah, I already had it. I don't remember. The magic beans. Somebody tell me why they're so high. 
I can bring a lot of money. To okay, at least I know this guy sells them if we need some money in a pinch. But maybe somebody can tell me what's the benefit of you keeping this stuff and not selling it. All right, see you, Jack. We're, we got work to do. We're close to our farm. Fortunately, the lumber market is actually very close to our farm, which is very nice. Alright, so I'm going to take this down to the lumber mill. I like to leave it down there. Hey, hey, hey! Little crazy driving there. So we actually have a garage uh, over here. Yeah, let's just park this in the garage. There we go. That'll keep it nice and covered up. I almost went in, I kind of went in too far, but that's okay. I don't think it rains in this game. I don't think I've ever seen it rain. All right, let's go grab our tractor and these these pallets I'll have to dry those get those drying uh, I've read that if you keep these covered they don't have to actually go in the dryers but I've got some space here not being used this is spruce so this is interesting too different different wood brings different prices like this is pine and I got spruce here. So if we go back to our market, see the different prices. Pine is two ten, oak is three sixty, birch is three thirty, and spruce is two forty. So different prices, that's kinda cool too. Alright, where's our tractor at? We also should be getting some more bark in here. It's empty right now, but we're gonna get we're gonna get some more bark in there when we when we send some more trees down. All right, I've got eight jars of honey. I want to see if I can can I get any loot out of this? More honey. I don't see a way to access it. I can put more down. Maybe this one isn't operational. Yeah, I'm not sure about that. Be interesting to see how quick our apples grow back too. All right, there's my tractor. So I want to try to actually wash this tractor. So let's unhitch. There we go. And I think this tractor can be washed here. I know it can be fuel here. Enter. Oh, right here. Cool, we can ref refuel it or wash it. Oh, we can change colors too? Oh. Well, I want it blue. Ooh, that's kind of a baby blue. Yeah, we gotta have it blue. Oh, we can repair it. I didn't know it needed to be repaired. Alright, let's wash it. We have a little bit of fuel in here. Let's wash it. Well, it didn't repaint it. Repaint vehicle. Maybe, it, maybe uh, repair and painting it costs money. I'm not sure about that. Let's go ahead and fuel it up, though. There we go. We have 12 liters to stop. Let's buy some more fuel. Alright, so maybe that's part of my... Uh, let me get off this a second. Maybe that's part of my skills. Refurbish old vehicles and repaint them. So I, I should be able to do that. I'm at level 2. But I bet it costs money. I bet it, costs, I bet it would cost 500 euro to repaint it. It makes sense. You don't have to do it. You can't do it for free. Yeah, let's do it. Let's see if that paints it. Oh, it did. Ooh, that's 
I'm not sure about that color blue. <laughs> That's a little, a little too wild, and it cost us 200 euro or 500. Done repainting. Oh wait, can I go darker? Yeah, I need a darker blue. That's better. That's much better. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I really had no idea we could do that. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Oh, that's a nice blue. All right. Yeah, so I think it just costs us 500 to do that. Well, that's cool. I like the new color. All right, let's go grab our uh, let's go grab our trailer, and now I want to repaint everything. I get I gotta spend some money on cows and chickens. We're learning this game as we go. I knew you could wash it, but I had I really didn't know you could. trailer. Alright, I don't like talking over this trailer. It's kind of loud. So, let's pull our map back up, and I think we're going to go... I'm pretty sure the fisherman was, was right in here. The grumpy fisherman. So let's right click there and I'll head up there. And again, I'm going to try to, to pick up these logs that I cut down that I didn't have to store for them because I can use those and sell them or turn them into chipboards. And then we're also going to try to buy some cows from him. So I'll see you guys when I get up there. All right, I saw some people out here. Let's go over here and see if they sell anything. Hello, Dylan. Hello. Good to see you. I'm looking to buy some sheep. Okay. So that's where we buy the sheep? I'm looking to buy some sheep. Perhaps you could spare a few. Sure. How many do you need? We'll deliver to your farm. All right. They're 300 euro a piece. I'm just going to buy... I know we can shear those sheep. So we'll just buy... Let's buy two, and he's going to deliver to our farm. I don't even know where they go on our farm, but we're going to buy two. You got yourself some sheep. You are a true shepherd. The side sheep wool is nice and warm. A lot of people will buy it. Okay, cool. Can we talk to your wife, Alexa? Not now, sorry. Okay. All right, so now we still have 1279 left. I think I remember the, the cows were like 500, I think. All right, we'll continue on. All right, we are coming up on what I think is the right house by cows. We're gonna find out here really quick. I see more sheep over there. Yes. Okay. Okay, so I see... I see logs that we cut down. So this is where I cut down all those logs for the sheep pasture. And all these are logs are still here. And I wonder if I can take these. 
I complete the quest, I wonder if I can take these and sell these. Now let's go see if this is the one though that sells. I can't take care of them all. Cows. But I saw a sheep. And she, I cleaned that out well, for her I sheep. I haven't seen it for myself. All right, let's go see. That's nasty. <laughs> we'll I talk see. later. Oh, okay, Sally. Uh, what about Mary Jane? Hi. I'm so glad to see you. I'm looking to buy some sheep. Perhaps you could spare a few. Darn it. Okay, so she's the one. Yeah, she's the one that cleared all this out. So this is not where. Gotta go. This was not where John was at. Uh, I'm pretty sure John was the one who was wanting to sell me some cows. All right, but this is where we're gonna get those logs that I talked about. So it could be any of these houses. Let's go here next. All right, I'm gonna grab these logs. I'm gonna try to grab these logs and see if I can take them. These are all drop-off areas, actually, right here. Uh, I'm supposed to be able to drop the logs here, drop logs into the water here. They will be automatically transported by the current to the mill, properly soaking on their way there. So I can drop them here, and they will go all the way down and around magically to my farm over here. All right, so I'm gonna grab all the logs that I can here. I'm gonna try to take these first, if it'll let me. And we just won't tell. Oh yeah, it's gonna let me take them. So that's very cool. I really wasn't sure if it could let me or not. I mean, really, in all fairness, we should be able to do this. We cleared it out for her. Alright, I've got this full, pretty much all I can carry. Uh, look at that. that's a pine log. These are all pine. Okay. Alright, so now I'm gonna head back this place. I'm gonna head, stop off here, or at this house, and then we'll try dropping our logs. All right, here we are. There's a general store here, and there's people up there we can talk to. So I don't think I've ever been here before. Yeah, so I'm right in this area here. So let's go see what they sell at this general store. Hi, Victoria. Hello, how are you? I'm great, thank you. Care to trade? Or what's your specialty? What's your specialty? I sell food, fresh and delicious. I'm famous for honey, eggs, milk. I also oh. bake. So if you have anything I might find useful, I'll buy it from you. Okay, so she sells milk. Care to trade? All right. Uh, milk. 240 euro a piece. So she only has seven of them, though. So if I want to buy all seven, that would cost me sixteen eighty. What's that's reasonable enough? I'm gonna go ahead and buy them, because I don't know how long it's gonna take my cows to get that much milk. I have no idea. All right, and she see. Oh, she sells a couple of tools. All right, so she sells fish, mushrooms, honey, eggs, and she only has seven eggs. But I'm gonna buy all those. And she sells pumpkins and zucchini. Okay. Now, what would she buy from me? The dried meat? She would give me 500 euros for that. I think that's the same as the other guy was going to give me. 
and magic beans 336 the hunting honey 128 price 16 euro and she sells it for 24 euro of course she's got to make a little profit but okay so we know now that Victoria we can buy honey or we can buy milk and eggs from her just I don't know how often it replenishes maybe daily not sure all right, good to know. Now, let's go talk to these people. And please tell me they sell cows. That's what I really Can want to buy. Can we do something about it? All right, we got three different Everyone's heard about it already. Here. Hey, Jonathan. Hi. Oh, hello. Uh, need me to help you with something? Need me to help you with something? Not now, sorry. Right. Gotta go. All right. Does your wife sell cows? Camilla? Hi there. Nice to see you. Um, oh, I can flirt with her. Need me, to help, Need me to help you with something? Not now. Sorry. Gotta right. go. Uh, do you by chance know who sells cows, Camilla? All right. We got one standing here in the trees. Sophia. Hi there. Good to see you. <laughs> Um, need help with something? Need me to help you with something? Not now. Sorry. All right, well... Gotta you, go. You just keep talking to that tree. And... Abigail, you look awful uh, well-dressed to be out here in the trees. Interesting. Hi there. Nice to see you. Oh, I'd like to buy a hen or two. I could really use a rooster. I'm looking to buy a cow, perhaps more than one. Holy cow, she sells everything. All right, let's buy the cows first. I'm looking to buy a cow, perhaps more than one. Do you have any for sale? Sure. How many do you need? We'll deliver to your farm. Okay, they're, they are 500 apiece. So... I can only buy two... You bought some cows. You are truly a farmer now. Milk is a very valuable component of your menu. Be sure to gather hay when you mow and store it in the barn. Hungry cows won't give milk. Okay. So we have some hay already. Hi. How are you? Hi there. All right. Um, I'd like to buy a hen or two. I'd like to buy a hen or two. Do you have some to spare? Sure. Why not? If you buy from me, I'll have someone make a delivery to your farm. Okay. They're only 12 euro. Uh, let's buy six. That sounds like a nice round number. You bought some cows. Oh, well, I also bought some hens. All right, now... Hello. Nice to see you. We want to buy a rooster because we need them to reproduce also. I could really use a rooster. Do you have a young, healthy one for sale? Sure. I'll have someone handle the transport to your farm. Wait, did it sell me one? All right, uh, we can tell here in our game information. We have six hens, rooster owned, yes. Cows owned, sheep owned. We can also buy a dog and a cat. But I know I know the cat can help uh, keep our uh, keep mice out of our pantry. We probably should buy one of those. Let's see how much they cost. So we are down to 126 It's euros. just words. Hello. Nice to see you. Um, I could use a cat on my farm. Do you have a kitten you could sell? I could use a cat on my farm. Do you have a kitten you could sell? Sure. I'll have someone handle the transport to your farm. Do we have to pay for it? Oh, yeah. Have you, a rooster is a valuable addition to your hens. It will keep an eye on them and help them multiply. Okay. And I read, I think you could only get up to 20. You got yourself a cat. This little fellow will look upon your farm, keeping mice out of your pantry. You need to pet him every now and then to keep him friendly. Okay. All right. So we now People have... say a lot of things. All right. So we now have six hens, a rooster, two cows, two sheep, and one cat. I don't know if we need a dog also. <laughs> We have 66 euros. Oh, I thought left. my own opinion. 
Hello. Yeah. Hi there. Um, oh, I can't buy a dog now? Yeah, I guess not. Okay. See you later. Maybe you can only buy one dog and one cat? I'm not sure. Okay, so Abigail's here. And again, I don't know if Abigail, if this, I think it's random what they buy or sell. But she's right here by this general store. And let's see, how many cows do I have? I only have two. I probably, I really wanted to buy more than that. I just saw this in your greenhouse. These are the seeds I have. Zucchini, tomato, pumpkin. Uh, I need to work on that. We'll have to buy a watering can. But uh, maybe next episode we will work on this greenhouse stuff. So I'm just trying to find some ways to make more money, of course. So I'm going to head back to the farm. Yeah, I'm just, I'll just drop the logs off when I get really? back. Alright, guys. Here we are back at our lumber mill. Logs off. So I will, I'll go get the rest of these logs off camera. It's definitely worth doing, in my opinion. Uh, rather than trying to buy a new forest right now. I can get a lot of logs from that place. Uh, it's gonna be, it's gonna be a job. Uh, it's a long ways away. So let's get these dropped in the water. I want to show you on the map, so. And this this is the area right up here I'm gonna go ahead and mark it for myself and I can take the I can pick up the logs and drop them right here and then I'll just have to head back up and do that several trips but it's worth it's worth doing because I'm gonna get all that money from these logs that they're just letting me take for free so it's definitely worth doing so those, of course, will float down to our lumber mill, and we'll make, we'll get bark out of, out of those, and we'll get the chipboard crate that we just stole at the first part of this episode. Alright, let's go park this tractor, and we'll go see if they delivered our animals. Alright, let's go check out our barn and our chicken coop. I don't know if we have to wait till the next day. Uh, for them to bring us the animals, or maybe they're already here. I don't know. Oh, I see a rooster. Okay, cool. So they're already here. That was pretty fast. Uh, I wonder if they can get out if we don't close the gate. So we got six hens. Can we get information about them? I uh, guess not. So this, uh, the rooster is supposed to protect our hens, it said. Now, when do they start? It's probably going to be a little bit before they start laying eggs, I would guess. Yeah, I know we clicked eggs in here. Oh, and there's our cows. Alright, well, good job. That was quick. Alright, let's close this gate. <laughs> and I hear the cows. Hey guys, girls, um, can we milk them yet? Not yet. All right. Yeah, we only have two. I definitely want more. Now, where do I store my hay at? I'm interested in that. Oh, there's a cat. How funny. It's a barn cat. Can I pet it? Uh, hey. Oh, Typhoon. Okay. It names it for us. Okay. 
about that? Typhoon. It's a barn cat, and you need to, uh, you're supposed to hang around my pantry and keep my, or keep the mice away. Yeah. Okay, well, it said we had to pet it occasionally. I don't know how to pet it, but I guess that'll come later. Alright, so that's pretty cool. Alright, now where do I put this hay? So I've got hay in my inventory here. Mowed grass, useful as cow food, but where... Uh, oh, move, move to hay barn. Okay, I just click on it. Move to hay barn. Alright, well that was way too easy. Okay. Now does it tell me... Well, we have to be outside to get the stats for that. Chickens are loud. There's the rooster right there. Big boy. He's protecting all the hens. Yeah. Alright. Okay, there we go. Cows owned. Hay stored 16... 10 kilograms. 16%. Hungry cows do not produce milk. Sheep owned. Oh, I forgot about the sheep. Dog owned and done. And cat owned, yes. Alright, so where is our sheep? Hey, we got apples already. And we could put oh, more more beehives here. Interesting. No, oh, these were apples I didn't pick up. All right, let me grab these real quick. This I, I thought there was more apples around. Where'd I buy a scarecrow at? I need a scarecrow. All right, we only need 23 more apples. That's cool. I think I picked all these. Alright, now where's my sheep at? Oh, there they are. Alright, well they just stay here without roaming or wandering off. Maybe they'll Yeah, they'll eat this grass, I guess. Shave this sheep. Sure why not? Oh, that's hilarious. <laughs> Pack of wool, wool plus one. Okay. <laughs> All right, buddy. All right, let's get this one. Oh, that's funny. Poor little guys. Well, we are. Um, we're in July, so they need, they need to be shaved. Pack of wool, natural sheep wool, valuable. All right, so I have to figure out where I sell that at. That's pretty cool. I hope it's very valuable and I can make some money off of that. Alright, very cool. So I'm really happy with what we got. We got a lot done today. I'm really happy with all the animals we got. Uh, we got to paint our tractor. That's pretty cool. And uh, let's see. Uh, our next episode, we'll go check out uh, the milking of the cows and the eggs. I probably... I'm not sure how long it takes for them to start producing eggs. I don't know if it's just one day. Um, I'm not sure, but we'll, I'll show you that on camera, the milking of the cows and gathering of the eggs, and then off camera, I'll continue to gather those logs, and uh, we'll get our money bill back up, and of course, the main goal is, you know, paying off the uncle. We've got to pay 250,000 euros, but I think once you actually pay this off, it's kind of the end game, really, I believe. So, uh, and there's also a furniture store. We, we saw that before, where you can buy the furniture store and start making furniture, but uh, I think you kind of want to wait and pay off your uncle to get some of the other, some of the other things done first. So uh, we'll do that. And then we also, uh, oh, we got to check out our greenhouse too. So we still got a lot left to do in this game. Start growing some vegetables in there. So, all right, guys, I'm going to end this one here. If you like this episode, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I do appreciate each and every one of you that subscribes. And come back and see me for more episodes of Lumberjack's Dynasty. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.